Oh, it wouldn't be a normal day if we weren't here. We come here, we care, man. We come here loving our neighbor to warn you to repent and turn from your sodomy, turn from your fornication, turn from your drunkenness, turn from your false worship of, of Hinduism, Muslim. Turn from it. Turn from your witchcraft, your sorcery, your white magic, and turn to the one who died for you, the true, the only one, the way, the truth, and the life. His name is Jesus. He is the only way to heaven. The only way that provides a way is what he's done at the cross, shedding his blood for us so that we can have life. Nobody else did that for you. Muhammad didn't die on the cross. Buddha didn't die on the cross. Allah didn't die on the cross. Mary didn't die on the cross. You guys pray rosary beads. Come on. It's repetitious praying. Jesus didn't warn about that. But turn. Turn to the one who took the punishment for you. The one who made atonement for you. We're preaching, man. We're preaching. His life down for you and me. That you can have life. That you don't have to perish in your sin and go to hell forever with no way out. Jesus Christ provided that for us. He laid his life down for you and me so you can have life. So it's time to wake up. It's time to wake up, liars. It's time to wake up, drunkards. It's time to wake up, greedy people. It's time to wake up, selfish people, prideful people. It's time to wake up, homosexuals. It's time to wake up and realize you can be on the highway to hell forever. Once you're there, that's it. Once you are there, that's it. But you can repent and be an ex-homosexual. You can repent and be an ex-junker, an ex, an ex-pervert. You can be. You cannot be an ex. You can be an ex worshiping false gods like Muhammad and Buddha worship the true God, the only way, the truth, and the life, the only mediator between man and God, Jesus Christ. All other ways lead to hell. Only through Jesus Christ you can be set free. Oh, you may ask how I'm doing. Greg, how you doing? No, I'm doing. I'm doing better than I deserve. I deserve hell. Oh, I deserve hell like the rest. I deserve the lake of fire like the rest. But you can repent of your sins. You can turn to God and have life. Women don't have to dress unmodest no more through the power of God. Men don't have to get drunk or women don't have to get drunk no more through the power of God. But the thing is you have the power of Satan in you right now. The power of demons. The power of drugs. The power of sex outside of man. That's what you got in you when you don't live for God. Oh, when you're just unmodest, you're not living for God, you hate God. When you get drunk, you don't love God, you hate God. When you're prejudiced, you hate God. That's the problem. You hate God when you live in sin. But you can repent and start to love God through what Jesus Christ did at the cross. Put your faith and hope in Him. And He can change you. Faith equals righteousness. Turn to Him today. Let me tell you, you can die today like Michael Jackson. You can die. And what are you going to do? It'll be too late. Whatever you sow down here, you'll reap up there. If you didn't repent down here and trust in Jesus Christ, you're in big trouble. You're in big trouble before God. So I want you to come out and cry out to God and repent and believe. You're in big trouble. What about help? So God is going to be forgiven, right? Infinitely forgiven God. If you want the forgiveness, you have to draw near God. What's your question? My question is that uh, if God is forgiven, forgive and you have a punishment, uh, the ultimate punishment from which one can never be saved. Uh, his Jesus said, live by the sword, die by the sword. Okay. But, but what I'm saying is, uh, and I, hey, up, buddy? I heard um, he has a real firebrand drought. Firebrand? What's that? Someone that's supposed to be Today? So what are you preaching? Judgment or mercy? Both. Okay. Charity, the Lord's our schoolmaster. The Lord's our schoolmaster that brings up your life. Right. If they don't know their intent, they're never going to want to save them. Okay? And then you would say that the law was done away with. Well, but without, yeah, Jesus done away with. Now you have Jesus. He nailed the law to the cross. He said the law. Okay, well, without Jesus, you want to do the law, right? The Lord's our schoolmaster. 
well. Inflation is 24. The law of our program is that we have a price. It's all just showing people their attention. But some don't because it's not good. I'm the people of, like, if I call the people of the family, they're going to be done. You're the first one to be civilized. You're the first one to be civilized. So, you're the first one to be civilized. You're the first one to be civilized. It makes no sense to ask you because I already know you know that part of the truth. That even in Christ, you may lie, you may do this, but it doesn't mean you're the first one. Stop talking! That was normal! Well, exactly. You know, there's a lot of people that I want to hear your going, boys. I truly, like, I've changed in my life. But you can't help it because it's always doing wrong things. A lot of times. You're not going to be perfect, yeah. A lot of times, even when I was into church, I would go there and worship, and wouldn't even be thinking about sin or sex. And then when they get there and they start talking about it now, for the next week, it's constantly You know, he wants to know about hell and sin. Go online, look at We all have an opportunity to repent of our sins. I believe we each have an opportunity to return to the God of the Bible before it's too late. Because God wished that none perish, but all come to repentance. He is Son and Son of the world to condemn the world, but that they may be saved through Him. But also those who not believe, they're condemned. The cross is forced those who are perishing. But it can be the power of God to those who believe. So it's your choice. What are you going to do? Are you going to cry after God? Are you going to cry after His mercy? Are you going to cry after His love, His grace, His compassion? Are you going to continue to rebel against a holy, righteous God? And continue to turn your back on God. And continue to be a God hater. You're going to continue to lie. Continue to steal, get drunk. Continue to live as a homosexual. You're turning your back on God. Like I did. I used to live that way. I used to be just like that. But you know, I cried out for God's blood. I cried out for Jesus Christ to forgive me. He took, he did it at the cross. He died for my sins. He forgiven me from east to west. He cast my sins to the sea of forgetfulness. And you can have the same hope. You can have the same hope as I got. The hope to have your sins erased, forgiven, never come up ever again. But if you continue to rebel against God, if you continue to sin and live in your sin, you will die in your sin. The Bible says the way of sin is death. And we don't want you to perish in hell. That's why we love our neighbor. That's why we come here to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Because we do not want you to perish. I don't want you to die in your sins. Stop offering your body. Stop living for the world. But Christ can forgive you. God can forgive you of any of your wickedness, any of your vileness, and you can have life. Are you willing to turn to today and live? Are you going to continue to live in your rebellion? Stop. Wake up. It's not time to smell the coffee. It's not time to get up for work. It's time to realize that salvation is drawing near. Turn to today to have life. Cry out to God today.